up back kicking it with momo hey guys thank you for tuning back into my channel um if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are not new to the channel baby we appreciate you i love all my subscribers especially quay quay because she always be the one that be commenting on my videos i'm going to definitely put her link in this motherfucking video so y'all can go follow her channel her channel too because she's dope and i'll be why i be tuned in like just like she be tuned in on mine i'll be tuned in on hers too she's dope she talk about real stuff um and she's very motivational she help you get your life together period so i'm gonna shout okay. you out quay because i really appreciate you y'all see the title of the video bam title of the video oh have y'all seen this video with this dude that was at this girl door being a stalker let's talk about it so i'm gonna post some of the video in this video But real talk, ladies, y'all need to be careful, man. I am one that is so big on safety. So even if I meet dudes, I will meet you at the grocery store. You will not be pulling up at my house, especially if I just met you. But this dude said he lived downstairs. He had been watching this girl, clearly, that she lives in the apartments. And she he knew that what car she drove and everything. Dudes be real weird like that. Have any of y'all experienced stalker stuff like that? Because I have. I had a dude try to hop in my car before. Like, hold on. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I carry a gun just for this reason. Because I don't have time for that. Dudes are crazy. Some of you guys, y'all do too much. Y'all come on too strong. Y'all like y'all can't take no for an answer. I could be like, I'm good. I'm good, boo. I got a man. Thank you. Here you go. You can't have no friends, no buddies. We can't be pals. You can be my boo. -boo. I'm, I'm cool. They be real aggressive, bro. So sometimes you got to let them off easy. So in the video that she posted, because basically she had one of those ring lights or a ring camera on her door, which I need to get me one. That's a good idea. I was really like, I'm finna get on Amazon and order me one. But she had a ring camera that's on her door and the ring camera just caught him like walking past the door like randomly, but like looking in and then they had like a full conversation. Like he was over here like, you know, just open up the door so I can get your number. Um, my phone dead. I'ma just go ahead and give you my number. Just open up the door so I can talk to you. So she never opened up the door though. So I was really like, good job. Because we don't know what type of dude he is. And it just seemed weird. And this is how people end up on the news. Real talk. Because if he would have opened up the, she would have opened up the door. We don't know what would happen. I'm not saying that dude would hurt her. But I ain't saying that he wouldn't either. Because we don't know what he was going to do. What was your whole purpose? But the fact that he was even paying attention to where she stayed. You feel me? Like in her surroundings. Like, oh, he knew she had kids. That's a little weird. I'm, I'm for that reason I don't get too friendly with my neighbors like you ain't finna catch me out here just like hey you know what I'm saying and telling you all my business we ain't doing that I'm cool with the kids in the neighborhood but the adults nah the dudes nah because we don't know who's watching who and then I'm like a cute female and I live with my son by myself so yes I'm packing so you come over here homie you have a problem but more importantly have y'all ever experienced like dudes trying to talk to you and then they just flip on you like, man, I had a dude call me stupid and ugly. Just recently, I had a dude that I met at the gro at the grocery store. No, actually, it wasn't even at the grocery store. I meet a lot of dudes at the grocery store. But I had met him when I was pumping my uh pumping my gas. And he had pulled up on me. And, you know, I didn't even notice he was short because he was in the car. But I guess he got a little irritated because I wasn't, like, responding to his text messages. So he was, like, with your ball head self. I was like, whoa. Good thing I never invited you to my house. I came to his house. It was disgusting, by the way. But you weren't coming over here. That's why I don't even invite dudes over to my spot. Like, I don't have time to like, be precautious. Think that every... I watch a lot of, like, court TV, crime TV, snaps. I don't know. So, I'm hecka scary when it comes to stuff like that. Like, you ain't coming over here. We ain't doing that. I'd have had dudes go off on me like, oh, you, I'm not too good to come to your house. You know what I'm saying? You just gonna meet me at the store? Hell yeah. Definitely finna meet you at the store gonna come back and rob you or take advantage of you because that's 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 initially that's what i'm thinking i'm like okay so you probably looking around my house like oh she got a lot of stuff in here i'm gonna be back like <laughs> no you're not you're not coming over here period so yeah so on the video you can see that he was like having a full conversation with her she went up and up the door and then he does this interview trying to basically justify why he was at her door so i'm gonna post that too because i was like yeah he's lying 
Like, anyways, first of all, the fact that you even lied and said that your phone was dead and you was trying to get her to open up the door, what was you going to do? That's all I want to know, sir. What were you going to do? So if you thought your phone was in there, was you finna bum rush her house? Because what he said, told the dude was that he got his phone stolen. She was messing with some dude and the phone was navigating upstairs. But I thought it was dead. I'm just confused. I don't think it was dead. I think that if she would have opened up that door, he would have bum rushed her and probably tried to do something to her. Period. And he knew the kids wasn't home. And he was looking for her car. Talking about his mama lived downstairs. Boy, shut up. But I done had dudes like in other apartments, like the last apartments that I stayed in, it was a dude and he was drunk outside, like on the patio. So me and my son had only been there for two nights because we moved from one apartment to another apartment. They moved us in there. And then we got in there. It was roaches. So I moved right out. But the night that we moved in, the dude was outside. Like, you know, and then so I guess he got a little faded and then he opened up the door and came on into the apartment. I was like, oh my God. And at this time I didn't have a gun, but I called my daddy though. But yeah, this is how you say that you have to be as a woman you as a woman you have to make sure that you have a weapon on you it's sad especially this time of day have a weapon a bottle a taser oh no a knife shoot i need to get me a knife matter of fact so i can you know get you real quick like you come up on me like no i even taught my son how to shoot and his daddy taught him how to shoot just for that reason so if it's just me and him Baby, you better pull out. Like, period. You better check, get them for your mama. That's all I'm saying. So, my son knows how to shoot, too. And I think it's very important if you're a single mom, teach your kids how to shoot. Because you don't know if you're going to be able to get to the gun. But at least if the kids can. Because most of the time, perpetrators are not worried about kids getting weapons. But they worried about you getting weapons. So, my son, for me and my house, we going to learn how to shoot period <laughs> so i appreciate that from his daddy making sure that my baby knows how to shoot my dad used to do the same thing we went shooting with my dad so yeah and that's where i learned how to shoot because i'm a straight shooter too period like i'm not playing so if it's gonna be me or you it's gonna be you period and i've been taken advantage of before and i didn't have no weapon on me so yeah i'm not gonna let nobody do me honey at all so i thought this was very very deep i wanted to share this video with y'all drop down in the comments if you've ever been through anything that was similar drop down in the comments what you do what do you do to keep yourself safe do you carry a gun do you carry a knife in texas we have a right to carry you ain't gotta have no license so boom there you go no reason why you shouldn't be walking around here <laughs> with that thing on you especially if you are a single parent and you have kids or even if you don't have kids just today being safe you rather be safe than sorry is what i'm saying so i think that the, what the girl did was real i thought it was dope like she didn't let them down like too hard because another thing dudes don't take too good to rejection so if she would have been like get away from my door he probably would have kicked the door in you know what i'm saying so she kind of like held a conversation but let him off gracefully so i felt like that was dope um so i don't know y'all tell me what y'all think i just have to share this video because this is real talk that i feel like i want everybody all my women all my men to be safe and i feel like if you have daughters moms sisters then you need to be teaching them how to shoot women carry guns carry something to definitely protect yourself because at the end of the day if it's going to be you or them what's it going to be so check out these videos though no we got a hot side no we got to get down to the park so what's your name for everybody who don't know my name is Dallas. For sure, for sure. And how old are you? 26. 26. All right. And you did grow up in Dallas? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Born and raised. For sure. What schools you went to from elementary to high school? I went to Focus. Then I went to uh, I went to Hampton Prep for a little bit. Then I went to Wisman Ski for high school. Okay, I okay. Wisman Ski. Okay. Did you, uh, you hoop in college? Yeah, I hoop for a little bit for Trinity Valley. For Trinity Valley, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Did you start? Yeah, at first, then. Nah, 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 nah. I got academic probation. Then I, then Did I you get on school. academic probation before the first game? Nah. Yeah. Okay, so you spent in the game. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's all I want to know if you spent in them. For all the ladies out there who want to know, because I know they, 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 they acting like now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit really, they want that kind of yeah. So is you single? Yeah, right now, you know what I'm saying? Right now, okay. It's complicated, man. It's complicated. It's complicated. That means my name is playing in wood, so get, yeah. I'm yeah. He's available. So, uh, you, uh, how many kids you got? I got one. Got one. One baby mama. Yeah, one baby mama. Of course. Yeah, okay. I got two. Okay. How did you? You know what I'm saying? How did you meet your baby mama? From my, uh, from my Rob, like Rolly bro, Rob. She, I got to Rob. Okay. In D smooth. Did so, you do that? Did you go to her door? Hell no. Nah. Oh, I just, yeah, I, met. I met her through social media. Oh, for Instagram. Sure. For sure. I like. 
I like, oh yeah, she fine. Let me shoot at her. Like I seen her on my uh, on Rob. Yeah, on Rob uh, Instagram, he posted on her story. I, I already knew her. I knew her okay. through like mutual friends. So you just shit. shot that. Pistol. I shot. I shot. Okay. Okay. What happened? Happened. We okay. had a son. Okay. So yeah. for, this is a question for all of the all of yeah. who care about sports. I mean, I love sports, but I don't really give a f but. I want to know that you really play in the G League. Oh, nah, I just lied about that. Okay, it was a lie, y'all. I don't play no mother G League. Don't play for the uh, uh, I'm making stories and oh, shit to try to get the whole boost. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. yeah. it's yeah. cool. Yeah. Don't feel yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's cool. I lied. Okay, when, on the front. when was the first time you seen that girl? I never seen her a day in my life. I just know she stay upstairs from my T. Jones. So who told you she was fine? Like, you just like said. Nah, it's a whole affair. She gotta be fine. Like I, I seen her from a glimpse and she like I know she like she drive a bus bag and like seen type her in the apartment type. Did you, know? you see her hop out? Did you catch a glimpse of the or something? Like what was it? What? I kind of got a glimpse of her a little bit. I like yo, let me go, let me check out like where, like where she stayed. Type, like she stayed upstairs. Cause I knew my phone, like my phone was upstairs. My phone got stolen like a week ago. Right. So, but okay, but before you get, okay, I'm gonna let you keep. I'm gonna right, let you so okay, your phone got stolen. Right, look, look, my phone got stolen a week ago. Uh huh. I had an iPhone 12 mini, the real one. Right. For sure. So you know you can track them find my iPhone. Right, so right. I, I went I went with my find my iPhone on my brother's phone. He got What's two up, phones. Man? Right. So yeah, I logged in. They started chirping. They said it was upstairs. They hushed it. Uh, so apparently the with uh, the one of the stole my phone. That's why I did. Oh, okay. So yeah. you really didn't even want to dunk the really didn't want, yeah. You didn't want to clap a cheek. No, you none of that. I just wanted iPhone. to get my phone back. Well, she Cause she, like she with the they stole my phone. So okay. Some, okay. So she and when they answer the door, right? So I had to come I up with. I had to come up with a lie right, to okay. make her answer the door. Now, like, now, so y'all can get it. Now, like, now, now, now you think. Yeah. Now you think. Okay. Okay. So I lied and said I played in the G League. Right. Did tattoos. Okay. Make it look good, type. Okay. I put on the front. Okay. Know, okay. We seen you kind of, you know, dapper down and ain't had the band on. Like where you went that night before. I went to T.O.'s. T.O.'s. Okay. 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 Because okay, okay. some people think you probably still still kind of drunk. Uh -huh. Girl, birthday. Nah, I wasn't drunk. You were no, drunk? Not none of that weird. None of that. Okay. No weird. No weird. No weird. No weird. I'm on the cooling. I came up with a plot the scheme yeah. to get his mother yeah. mini yeah. iPhone 12 yeah. back. That's it. And again, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. I'm not begging for likes, but I do want y'all to go ahead and like this video. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you know when I'm dropping videos. And go ahead and drop a comment. And till next time, thank you guys.